Hello, this is John from LinuxSlate.com and also from Carsonic.com. And uh, we're going to do an unboxing video today here. I have a package that just came in uh, all the way from Russia, from I guess near Siberian Russia, came in through Moscow. Um, and as I usually say on these videos, uh, guess what? It's not a car that we're reviewing today. Um, what I have got here is a uh, new model of a different portable radiation detector. And um, this is the, the real unboxing video here. So we just got this package in. And let's get into the unboxing. And once we get the package out of the box, um, assuming everything is correct, um, I'll explain to you why I selected this one. And why we, we purchased this one and how it's different than some of the other ones that you already see on the table. I'm going to try to do this. Live here, it's pretty well packed. Um, this was purchased through eBay. The details will be in the video details below. And after we do the unboxing video here, I probably will not do a um, another general use video, but check linuxslate.com. Link will be below. Um, below this video here, I'm trying to be careful here. I'm not a quick unboxer. I may don't destroy the product unboxer. And, and it is very well packed too. We may have to cut away here. Um, but we will um, do some usage instructions um, in a separate video. And yeah, everybody's going to tell me in comments to sharpen my knife. Yeah, he did it. Good job over there. Um, one thing that's really cool about this is um, really good tracking information. So you don't even know what it is yet, but I will tell you that um, basically I paid twice what you would pay retail in Russia for this, but understanding that it has to come halfway around the planet um, and that I got very good uh, tracking. It was about a week and a half to get here is all it was. And um, I don't, I don't mind paying that kind of a markup to have it delivered here uh, promptly with good, um, good tracking. Okay, we're getting there, folks. So you see what we have here, at least the correct box. This is a new radiation detector. Um, this is actually made by a company. They're called Ideal Ratio, and I believe it's on here someplace, but the website, I believe, is just idealratio.ru. And this looks like actually an English version of the manual, which I didn't even know I was getting. So it's individual pages. Looks like pretty good English from a quick scan here. Um, but that was nice. I didn't even know that was included. I appreciate that. In, uh, English language manual. So I won't be doing translating. But we'll still do some usage hints and other things I notice about it. Um, this company sells and distributes a lot of the other meters, including um, this one. This is uh, one I've had for a while. There's a review up on my website, linuxslate.com. You can go there and search for it, or I'll provide a link. Um, this is the Terra PMKS05. This is a great meter. This is, this is kind of the old reliable one. If you watch like Chernobyl videos and stuff like that, you'll see a lot of people go there. Um, they're toting these. Um, kind, of the, kind of the default one. It's the Chevy Cruze of radiation meters, if you will. Um, so the company that distributes a lot of these different ones, Radix is another name that if you search around for these things you'll see often. They sell Terra and they sell Radix. And um, they have, according to their website, a translation of their website, gone off and designed their own. And here it is. Nice thing about this one is it's very small, very portable. A couple other features that made me choose this one. 
is a nice LCD display. You can see that it's actually even smaller than this really basic one that has only a light and a clicker. So it's definitely something you can carry with you. I'll tell you also, um, it's, it's pretty heavy. A couple other features that you want to look for. Good display. Um, everything on the, on the outside here is also in English. There is a clicker in here. This is the speaker. There's a warning light that um, we'll see how that actually works. Um, also, it's a full length tube. So it's going to be much more sensitive than the tiny little tube in this one that only is this long. Um, I'm not sure I haven't checked part numbers yet, but um, these two meters may actually contain uh, the same tube. Um, also, it's open. You can see how I can take this off here, but you need to take the plastic cover off. Or in the case of this one, for this to be sensitive to beta particles. So this one being open like this will be sensitive to, to beta particles. It's a, a heavy duty case here, the very thick plastic, and you can definitely tell by the weight of it. And in here, the only other thing we have is the original Russian manual. I do not have... Um, so these are copies of their certificates of compliance. Um, not particularly meaningful here in the United States, of course. But on, uh, I believe, this one, I actually got physically ink-signed versions of that certificate. At least you know it's been through some sort of a testing program. Um, looks like, from the weight, they've kind of got to have batteries in here. Um, let's power this up and give it a quick test. I haven't read the instruction manuals, but it's working, and it's already counting. Um, good test source here is I have a little friend that's going to help us here. This is my radioactive cat. Okay, this is made out of Vaseline glass. Vaseline glass contains a very small amount of uranium. And if we, again, on this one because it's a source mostly of beta particles. If we take off the um, thing here and hold it up and turn around to its back here. You see we definitely get a reading um, and an alarm pretty much right away on him. He's not dangerous. You wouldn't want to grind him up and snort him. I don't recommend chewing on it. But uh, short of doing that, and you would want to be cautious if it broke, going to take that one a second to go back to normal dosage. It's going down pretty quick here. But let's see how this one works. Right away we're getting the light blinking there a couple times. And we can see our counts going up. It is working. Detecting the cat. Not quite, doesn't appear to be quite as sensitive as the um, therapy. But Definitely already here, just holding it up a couple seconds. I have a nice big clear display telling me that I'm well above background. And I don't know if you can hear it in the camera. It is beeping. It's not loud. And now it's gone into a warning. Uh, that wouldn't wake you up at night. If there was uh, nuclear goods transferred by your house in an accident or something like that, um, I think it's great for a portable meter. But let's move our cat a little further away. You can see that the cat is um, not particularly radioactive once you even get a few inches away. You can see that this one is even less sensitive so there's one point that I make on my um, radiation detector review that you can read on linuxslate.com is basically that there is no excuse for the actual size of the sensor. Um, nothing else is going to make it is going to make it sensitive. Um, we have a similar situation in this one. You have a um, window you can open here to allow detection of beta particles. This one's calmed down now that it's away from the uh, Vaseline glass cat it's rapidly returning to normal background. So uh, works right out of the box. One thing they advertise is basically a lifetime battery. Um, the battery is supposed to last 10 years if you could use good alkaline batteries and it says it comes with Duracells. I'll have to open it up and see what's actually in there. But um, that's our unboxing video.
And thanks for watching, and we'll get more information up on linuxslate.com um, when we uh, can get a full report out. Thank you.